Florida Governor Ron DeSantis accused U.S. President Joe Biden for creating inflation during a campaign event in Lake City on Thursday. We have the worst inflation that we've had in this country in four decades. And that didn't happen by accident. It happened because he came in and they printed and borrowed and spent trillions and trillions of dollars when they were warned if they did that, it would spark exactly the type of inflation that we've seen now. And they tried to minimize it. At first they said it wouldn't happen. Then they said it'd be a blip. Then they said it would be done in six months. Then they claimed it peaked three months ago. I don't know, I'm looking at people, the grocery bills, all that stuff. I don't see that going down. I see it's something that's crimping uh, people in Florida and all across this country. And the sad thing is, it didn't need to happen. Uh, this is a crisis that, that Joe Biden created. I just think to myself, you know, the Inflation Reduction Act, it's an insult to everybody here because they think you're so stupid that if they name it Inflation Reduction Act, you're gonna actually believe that. So they're insulting our intelligence and you look at people that were involved in passing this, like, like Nancy Pelosi, and I'm thinking to myself, how long, how long has she been in Congress, in government? And it's a great advertisement for the fact that we need term limits for members of Congress in this country. IRS agents going to be doing? I can tell you what they're not going to be doing. They're not going to be going after limousine liberals in Hollywood and Manhattan. That is not what those IRS agents are going to do. IRS agents are going to go after people like you. They're going to go after people who don't have a fleet of accountants or a fleet of lawyers, and they're going to use the power of government uh, to crush small businesses, to crush sole proprietors, to, pr to crush a handyman who may be doing work around a given community. But they need to be very assertive with their authority, and, and I think they need to hold Biden's feet to the fire on this border. They need to use the tools that they have. Uh, they have spending power, they have other powers, uh, because we're sick of this just happening. And so he is somebody that is not, doesn't have a firm hand on the tiller here, and they need to be able to hold him accountable. So we're gonna be waiting and watching, but I really, really would like to see action because what has happened down at that border is an embarrassment to our country that we can't even keep control of our own territory. Biden on Tuesday cast DeSantis as Donald Trump incarnate, warning voters days before U.S. midterm elections that Republicans could take away their health care and retirement benefits. The comment were Biden's sharpest yet against DeSantis, who is widely believed to be considering a presidential run in 2024, along with former President Trump. Biden, whose approval rating is hovering around 40%, has said he intends to run but not formally declared his candidacy. Ex-President Donald Trump also hinted but not announced his candidacy. And now, in order to make our country successful and safe and glorious, I will very, very, very probably do it again, okay? Very, very, very probably. Very, very, very probably. This is the year we're going to take back the House, we're going to take back the Senate, we're going to take back America, and in 2024, most importantly, we are going to take back our magnificent White House, right? We're going to take it back. Biden met DeSantis last month during a trip to the state to assess devastation from Hurricane Ian. They greeted each other warmly and stood shoulder to shoulder as they met with victims of the hurricane.